Aloha. Good morning. This is Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. Trust everyone's had a wonderful week and we've had some amazing sunsets here lately on Oahu and enjoying that uh, warm weather or looking for those breezes, of course. Well, I thought it'd be interesting um, this morning just to talk about some of our experiences we're having in today's marketplace. I know People are very um, confused with what's going on. Um, you know, sometimes we hear all oh, prices are going down or, you know, everything's going to fall, et cetera, et cetera. But there's really a lot going on in our market. It's, um, I always say, it's a little trickier than normal. Um, it's, you definitely have to be an expert um, in neighborhoods or price ranges to really analyze, um, you know, each area, what the right move for a buyer or seller is. And when I look at today's market, it's very active, just so you know. Um, We actually have about, we have less inventory on the market in the luxury market today than we did um, at the end of last year. Um, You know, pricing's still very key. Um, And, you know, it's interesting when I use that word trickier, we had some homes that came on the market at the end of last year into this year, and definitely we were headed towards a, um, as we call it, transitional market. The market was changing. And um, oftentimes when we were in that really crazy, um, where prices were going up very radically, you know, 20% in two months, for instance, uh, we really priced a little outside the last sold, waiting for that market to go up to that new price range, which maybe just took moment of a day, maybe a couple of weeks, but we would always be able to get that new highest price in a neighborhood. Well, in this transitional market, that is what did not happen. And, you know, what I've seen um, happen is some sellers have really um, suffered in this transitional market because they were priced in a market where the prices were going up. And based on that, if they weren't um, willing or ready to price accordingly to what was going on, um, they're actually still on the market from January, um, and I've seen some listings um, there on MLS, you know, where it's 20 or 30% less than what they started with. And if you look now, if new listings are coming on the market, the pricing's a lot tighter and a lot more attractive to buyers just because, um, you know, a good agent is able to really uh, communicate with their client, this is where we are today, this is where we're going. Uh, certain, generally speaking, I would say we're in a flat market um, and then in more exceptional, unique properties, they could even possibly go up. Uh, for instance, I had seen two um, very beautiful large land area listings, land only, uh, that uh, one listing actually went up from the beginning of last year. It sold in January and just closed last month. And it probably sold for about 10 to 15% more. And that's because it was a trophy opportunity for somebody to build a um, huge home on a very, very large lot. And then another property came up on the ocean land, um, which is very rare just to find land and not have to, um, that sales price include, say, a single family home that needs to be torn down. That was a land value only. And I believe they had 20 showings in the first hour of it coming on to MLS. So really important knowing the demographics of um, the buyers for these listings, uh, the other opportunities available out there, which are very limited. Um, You know, the... uh, To let you know, the international market, as I mentioned, the buyers are appearing. Um, uh, Just yesterday, I had mentioned last week at Park Lane, we did see a 27.5 million condo um, purchase from an international buyer. And again, you know, we talk about just briefly briefing on the condo luxury market. You know, people want to buy that lifestyle, walk out their front door. They've got the shopping, they've got the restaurants, they've got walking opportunities, the beach. And, of course, the Ala Moana and Kaka'ako area is very in for that right now. Um, you go off that area, off that corridor, and prices drastically change. Um, and you really have to be very sensitive of um, giving um, sellers the correct information of what they will sell if they're not in that as I say, that in spot for lifestyle, that corridor right now. Uh, so, the you know, it's just really when it comes down to it is knowing the market. And, uh, you know, it's interesting 
you know, it's the same keys we always look at, you know, you know, what's the inventory like supply and demand? A home has to show very well. If it doesn't show well, as I mentioned before, that um, people will discount it very rapidly in today's marketplace. Uh, buyers' motivation, um, buyers aren't in a hurry right now. They will take their time. Um, it, it's interesting how, what I've seen showing our luxury homes and, you know, someone loves the home and there'll be so many hurdles for them to go over, whether they just left the island, they're coming back later, then they have to show it to different family members. It's, you know, probably two years ago in 2021, when it was crazy market, they would just make an offer then uh, at the doorstep. Now it may take a month to get them to bring an offer in on some of these homes. So a, a lot of follow-up, um, you know, I've been doing this over 35 years. So it's back to those follow-ups, staying on top of things and, uh, you know, maybe, you know, something that took, you know, two days to sell now will take um, 30 days in follow-up just to get the offer coming in or even longer. So it's just as an agent, as a broker myself, it's that commitment of being, uh, you know, really having superior knowledge of the market, uh, giving superior service. Um, really, you know, I've now gone out and brushed up on some other educational things, you know, because of this transitional market, I have the time to go in and really study things uh, versus just acting like we did before. Uh, you know, it's such a crazy market. We didn't have time to think. We just had to do. So there's a lot of thinking and strategy um, in our, our job now as real estate brokers. And, you know, if we look at what's going on with the buyers, um, you know, there's actually different types of financing taking place that we haven't seen for about 10 years. Um, we're seeing owner financing, um, you know, from like purchase money mortgages. We're seeing first and second mortgages take place where they'll get a, you know, first mortgage with the lender and a second mortgage with the owner. We're seeing assumable mortgages. Um, you know, of course, we know a lot of people out there were able to take advantage of the uh, rates, which were so low there, um, uh, you know, for quite a few years there. And, you know, with VA financing, um, they're assumable um, for a VA person. And I believe if you're not military, they are, but then that military person will lose their um, VA eligibility, but need to double check that, of course. Uh, there's hard money lenders now coming, helping um, uh, individuals buy home. There's contingency sales, a lot more things going on for that um, buyer to buy a property and different options out there right now. Um, the commitments, um, it's really important to look at uh, the buyer's commitment and why they're buying properties. There's a lot of things falling out of escrow every day in and out of escrow so staying on top of you know what really keeps the sale together and some of the tricky detail is really really important um, and with inventory um, you know still very tight uh, you know what we're seeing is the median price has gone up with uh, the luxury home market the median price in January this year was 2.3 million and now it's 2.9 million so you know, given today's economy, it doesn't necessarily mean prices have really gone down. Um, there's still a lot of activity and it's you really have to know um, what's going on out there in each segment of the market. So where are we going now? You know, what's going to happen between now and January next year? Um, I believe there will still be um, buyers buying before the end of the year. Um, it's always a strong buying um, season just before the holidays. And um I believe we'll still see some strong prices out there. Um, listings that are positioned well, they will keep lingering into 2024. And I just really believe is finding that one buyer who really wants that property. And between having buyer and a seller who really wants to sell, that will bring the most healthiest sales out there. So here we go. We'll let you know between now and December when we um, get to have some Christmas holidays, how the market's gone in the last quarter. Now, moving on to the um, Mary Ann's photos, of course, that we share every Friday. Um, she has given us a scenic tour around the island. And of course, you know, I was been generalizing on some of the experiences we're having and each market is so different and our company does cover the whole island and um, 
Our first picture here is on the North Shore and, of course, those long winding roads and um, white sand beaches of Mokulea. And actually one of our agents just sold a home up there. And, um, again, they were actually they were assuming um, the seller's mortgage and that took them weeks of negotiating to put that together. And then, of course, um, the South Shore, you know, in you know, end the day with the fuel for the soul, beautiful sunsets on the South Shore that we also enjoy. And of course, the um, East Coast enjoy the non the scenic moments, absolutely stunning of the drive up to the Windward side. Um, it's just stunning. You know, it's interesting when I think of Wynwood, I think of oceanfront properties, and there's so few oceanfront properties on the market right now, maybe one or two, but not many. And, you know, talking about oceanfront, some of our largest prices are oceanfront properties. And I was speaking to another luxury broker the other day, and they were saying that between, say, um, 2021 to 2022, September 2021 to September 22, there was about four sales over 20 million, and a lot of those were ocean fronts. Um, now, um, but from today, say back to 2022, there's only been one sale for 15 million for a single family home. And then, of course, we just had that Park Lane sale, but uh, fewer sales in the super luxury market over 20 million. And, you know, I went to a commercial seminar the other day, same thing they're seeing the big money isn't as frequent as it was a few years ago. And if we go to the next picture here, the West Coast, which is absolutely stunning in Koalina area on the Leewood side. So with that, enjoy the weekend. I hope you get to one, one of these beautiful locations on the weekend. Much mahalo for listening and we will be in touch next week. Mahalo.